loves early mornings, hey, going to the airport. <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs> Uh, we are at the airport. This is definitely not the way we normally travel. No. I definitely prefer um, the truck. If it breaks down, we can actually pull over. But <laughs> yeah, I don't like aeroplanes. They scare the crap out of me. But anyway, I don't mind a good flight as long as we're going somewhere fun. Yeah, yeah. we always go somewhere fun. This time we are on our way to Melbourne. <laughs> Where the weather is slightly different than the beautiful, what, 30 degrees that's expected in Brisbane today. It's 16 degrees and raining here in Melbourne. So he might make fun of me for having 24 pairs of shoes in the caravan. When are you going to need those boots? Well, my friend, I need them. We have found a reason why she needs the boots, so I'm right never going to bag her out anymore. Melbourne. Yeah. I mean, we've got to expect this from Melbourne, don't we? Look, I've got a jacket on, we've got jeans. Still got my, um, still got my Queensland shoes on, don't I? Never get them off your feet. <laughs> so what are we doing anyway? All Let's right. just go. We're going to um, jump in our taxi. Where are we going? Heading to GMSV head office. We need to pick ourselves up an HD. We're here to film the conversion of the HDs, aren't we? The remanufacture. Remanufacture. This is going to be really cool. This is a video that we've really wanted to do. I think it's needed in the industry. We need to show you guys how amazing the remanufacture is from a left-hand drive to a right-hand drive. So yeah, Actually we're going to take is. you to the factory where the vehicles come from the USA and yes. then are made suitable for Australian conditions. It's raining. What's wrong? You're locked out. Quick, run, 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 run. Oh, look at that. Quick. Okay. Quick. Oh my god. Here you go. Take this. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's go. Uh, are you filming me filming you? I can't, I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, let me shed some light on the situation. Yay! Uh, righto, alright, let's go. Okay. These things are hot. We've just got out of the black one. We, I was so sad because we had to hand the keys back. We've been driving it around for months and months and I had shed a little tear. But, but it's the next one. day and now we've got a white one. So I'm smiling again. I'm actually... I actually really love the white one. It's just got, I don't know, you can just see the lines more in it, I think. I don't know. Well, we've it's been in Melbourne for one day and for one night, and it has been absolutely jam-packed, hasn't it? It has. It's always action-packed when we come to Melbourne. So many people to see, so many places to go visit. It's, it's always just, yeah, all systems go, isn't it? Yeah, we went and caught up with everyone at Titanium Caravans. We went and caught up with Mickey from S&M Chassis. Oh, yeah, of course, Mickey. And then, last night, our mate Vegas, who's an epic Indigenous artist, had... Um... Oh, we've got a call coming. <laughs> oh, look uh, at that. Jacob oh, we got Jacob. Sorry, buddy, Caravan. I'm going to deny you for one minute. <laughs> I'll call you back. <laughs> yes. So, we went to, to Vegas's, um exhibition opening last night, where we caught up with the guys from What's Up Down Under. So, Wazza and oh, Dave Wazza. were there. Oh, It was great to see them again, yes. Yes. Basically, the time has now come to head to the GMSV facility to check out the way these trucks have been remanufactured from left hand drive to right hand drive. So this is actually the GMSV remanufacture standalone yeah. facility. I'm pumped. I mean, I'm excited. This is something that I've been hanging to do to, to see. To, the, the process that they go through is, is mind blowing. When you drive these things day in day out and you look at how amazing they are, it just gets you really thinking on the process involved in it. So I'm super excited, mate. We've got to get there. Hang on, this is going to be an exciting video. So 
So I'm here today um, at our GMSV standalone facility. We're really excited to open these doors to you guys uh, with Aussie Destinations Unknown. And I'm actually here with Oliver Lukies. He's the commercial director for Walkinshaw uh, and actually the promoter arm of the business under the Walkinshaw Group that actually do our remanufacture of Silverado Trail Boss, LTZ Premium, and now our 2500. So Oliver, we've been working together for a little while now, so can you tell us a little bit more about this new facility and anything that you, you know, in terms of efficiencies and, and the likes that we get out of something like this? Thanks Jody. We moved in this facility a few months back in uh, August and a lot of advantages we had moving into a standalone facility was our daily throughput rates were able to increase. We're now running two shifts on this site, uh, able to produce 16 units a day and we're looking to ramp up into 18 units per day. Um, having the bigger footprint, our staff are accommodated, uh, we've noticed a great improvement in uh, not only throughput but also attendance of staff and, and uh, wanting to be on the site here now as a standalone, absolutely better for the product and brand. Yeah, awesome. And I guess in terms of your staffing, I mean, what are we looking at numbers-wise these days? Uh, all, all inclusive, if we look at all of our warehousing staff and all of the manufacturing staff, our line engineers, we'd be over 150 staff dedicated to the Silverado product. Yeah, awesome. Uh, so 2500, uh, it's probably one of our most popular products these days. It's the car that they, you guys, absolutely love and fan about. How is that as a vehicle to remanufacture? Is there any um, you know, further developments that we had to do to put it um, through its paces at the facility? Yeah, absolutely. Both um, 1500 and 2500 come from uh, such a great platform. The 2500 really lends itself um, to a greater towing capability but from a remanufacturing process, that also means we've we've gone from a uh, steering rack on the 1500 into a remanufactured and redesigned steering box system on the 2500. When we do the demarriage process, you'll see as we do the line walk later on, there is a lot of work that goes into the construction of the firewall, the unique wiring harness, uh, sub-assembly components with our IP and dashboard, um, a lot of unique parts that we've had to tool, design, engineer, all to GM standards to make sure it meets the requirements of the Australian market. Yeah, it's a really good point in terms of the GM standards. Obviously, globally, we hold ourselves to extremely high standards in terms of quality, safety, engineering, and having a local partner that really understands that and, and takes that into consideration is, is, is huge for us. Um, what do you guys do different, uh, I guess, to I guess what you might call the uncertified uh, remanufacturers or conversion partners uh, that are around Australia and New Zealand? Uh, 35 years of history in Australia now through the Walkinshaw Group testing and developing products to Australian conditions. Throughout this program um, that, that we've been able to do with Silverado, uh, our engineering group have really established a great circuit where they do travel around Australia. They've been able to put the car through all of its paces. We understand what are the great corrugated roads, where the car gets tested to its limits, absolutely what's going to fatigue. Um, all of those main steering and suspension components and most importantly we can bring all that information back into our test facility and we can run that in a static lab now so before we even head out on the road with the first vehicle we understand those stress points, the brake points, anything that's going to be a problem in the vehicle and we make sure that we engineer around all of those to suit our conditions. Yeah awesome and I think another added uh, benefit in terms of buying it from GMSV is that we are the OEM, we are a GM uh, company. Uh, we also come with a three-year, 100-kilometer uh, warranty as well. So the customer is actually getting a really great product from the US. We've got a quality partner, an engineering partner here in, in, in Walkinshaw Group. And then with GMSV, you know, we've been able to offer uh, a full backing warranty. Uh, and then it even goes down to our GMSV service as, as well. So. Thank you for being part of Thank you, Joe. So this is where the cars actually roll in then? Yep, this yep. is where it all starts. So vehicle comes off the boat, into port, comes into our facility here at Walkinshaw, and then this is the first station. So the vehicles come around, See over here, what we do first is we demarry the truck. So cabin comes off, chassis comes off, and then we run two assembly lines for our remanufacturing process. So chassis go down this side, and we work chassis separately, and then the cabins go down the other side of the line. And with that, let's, let's step into the first station and have a look. Wait till you see when they take the cab off. It's amazing. 
Okay, so this is the cool part I was talking about. This is where you can see the cab is off and you can see that monstrous Duramax and Allison transmission. Wow, amazing. It is, so this station here, the cab has come off. We're getting ready to remove all the steering system out of it. We are resetting up for the new steering system. So that's the next couple of stations here. All your fluids, does that all have to change for strain conditions? Well? No, fluids are okay. Fluids are fine. Fluids okay. are fine. Right. Unfortunately, with with the removal of all of um, the plumbing systems and the rerouting, yep. we have to take most of the transmit, most of the radiator fluid comes out, yep. all of the radiator fluid comes out. Yep. Um, some of the transmission fluid comes out okay. because we reroute some of those lines for yep. the new steering configuration. Yep. So, so okay. not all, but some come out, but it's okay. not, not Australian conditions related. It's okay. just part of the build process related. And the process to take the cab off, is that that's a fairly quick process or a lengthy process? No, it's quite, it's quite quick because okay. I think four to six bolts that get undone from the underside, yep. all the electrical connections, some of the other chassis um, to cabin interfaces come, come apart, and go. essentially it just comes up. There you go. So, so if you ever need to change your oil, babe, you can just take the cab off so I can get to it easier. Far easier. What do you think? Yeah, exactly. Our guys do it. Yeah, they do it all day, every day. Okay. Um, but yeah, certainly it seems to be, as you see with the cabin light off yeah. like that, it's very easy to work on. You can just see here how heavy duty and big all the components are. Absolutely monstrous. So the cab, the cab comes off the chassis, and we place it on a trolley. And over on the other side of the line here, okay. you'll see we now start preparing the cabin for its activities. The first couple of stations, we are removing some of the content to prepare, because with the firewall area, we we cut out um, some sections and we reweld in some new sections. Because as you're probably aware, steering wheel needs to go from the left hand side to the right hand side. The brake pedals need to go from the left hand side to the right hand side, so we need to set that up inside the cabin area. So our stations here, this is where we remove all the content from the vehicle, uh, from the cabin. So we've got cab strip one, two and three. It's the first stations on the cabin side. So now the cabin is, is prepared. Um, we've removed all the wire harnesses and the, the, the carpet and things out of it. Inside behind me here we have an, an acoustic chamber where we do the cutting and the welding. Um, to reassemble all the panels in the correct location. So uh, with the cutting and welding, we can't take the cameras in there, uh, but you'll see the finished product a couple of stations down. Cool. Okay, so now we've, the cabin is uh, now re-welded with the panels in the right location. You can see there behind, we've uh, seam sealed, put the sealer around, uh, and the heat lamps are now turn, uh, curing the heat sealer and we're almost ready for reassembly of the cabin phase. All right, I can see there's a heap of parts here. So these are all new parts. How many parts do you have? So, so we have about 375 new parts added wow. to the vehicle as part of the process. Okay. And we also have some remanufactured parts. Yeah. So for an example here is the, what we call the metal plenum. So that part comes off the truck, it goes out. The wiper system, instead of going the left-hand driveway, needs to go the right-hand yes. driveway, so we remanufacture the mounts, yep. and that part comes back and gets put back on the vehicle. That's an incredible amount of parts, isn't it? Yep. An example of some of the oh, other parts we that are used, we have the firewall insulation parts yep. that go back on the firewall. Um, they're brand new parts to match the new location wow. uh, of the steering wheel and the brake. All right, so we can see here the steering componentry is out of the truck, yep. so what happens there? So. This here, we've, re we've changed the mounting location of the steering rack, so the steering, the steering box. The steering box is on the left-hand side, over here, and now we've put a new bracket, a new mounting system over on the right-hand side. So there's some cutting and welding, uh, minor cutting and welding on the chassis to prepare that, and this has all been redone, all uh, waxed back, placed, placed back on, and it's ready to go for the mounting of the steering box. So these three stations now, we come out of the cab fabrication area where we've welded up the panels, we've seam sealed the panels, and now we're looking at rebuilding the cabin back up. So we're putting the, the wire harness back in, we're putting the seats, we're putting the carpets, and also the instrument panel now starts to go back in. And that would be the right-hand drive prepared instrument panel. Yeah, well. So I can see behind me we've got the steering rack set up here. Obviously the HD runs a steering box. So this is for the 1500s, is it? Yeah, so this yeah. is the steering rack. We, we, you saw earlier about the heavy duty steering box. The, the light duty runs a steering rack. It's a similar principle. We remove the left hand drive steering rack. It goes sent out and gets modified. Uh, it comes back as a right hand drive version. And on the chassis, we modify the mounts to mount this new right hand drive steering rack. So behind us here, you can see the right hand drive steering rack ready to go back into the light duty vehicle. So that's a big component that way as opposed to the steering box. Is this a lot more complex? It's a steering box. 
steering box has yeah, yeah. been around for, for forever. That's forever, right. it's yeah. the way trucks are always done. Yeah. Steering racks, you know, uh, it's an electric one, much more complicated, it has a lot more smarts in it as well. Yeah. Um, we keep all of this part is factory, so all of the interface to the to the wheels to the suspension is factory. We then add on. I guess a gearbox to reverse the signal as we flip it round. Of course. And then we've added a gearbox on top. Yeah, wow, okay. So the steering the steering boxes, it's still all mechanical, there's no electronic or anything in it. It's there's hydraulic. An there's an electrical assist, it's hydraulic. It's yes. It's a traditional hydraulic system. Yes. Um, something I think GM calls digital assist, but I don't know the exact word. Okay, right. Um, that helps, yeah. um, but it's still more of a traditional heavy duty system. Okay. Right. So And this is what makes a truck so heavy duty. Yeah. Awesome, the HD. Now with the right hand drive instrument panel, we take the left hand drive part, we take all of the componentry off it, and then we start to rebuild it up as a right hand drive part. So behind us you can see um, what we call the cross car beam, the metal structure that gets the wire harness and everything starts to get built up. Uh, and then we put the components back on. The components that come off the vehicle, like airbags and everything, go straight back on the same vehicle. It's part of our process. Uh, and then so that just behind me here, you can see a final, uh, finally assembled one, ready to go into the truck. So, so the new parts again. So this is all remanufactured. Yes, yeah, so all the whole new components. The, new components. So the whole of the top of the instrument panel is new. The glove boxes are new. Yeah. Um, they're not. We can't sort of swap them over. No. So we create them. But your cluster new. and all that's still yeah. the factory ones. Electrical devices. Yeah. A new uh, carryover. Yeah. But all the plastic, the style parts, the vents even. Um, a new. So, wow. Okay. So this is fully assembled, ready to go back in. Yeah. So behind me, I can see we've got the air conditioning system here. Correct. So the air conditioning is part of the remanufacturing process as well, because the big fan unit sits traditionally in front of the passenger. So we need to take that fan unit and swap it round. So we disassemble um, what we call the HVAC unit, swap it round, and then reassemble it again to be our right-hand drive version of it, and then that gets installed into the instrument panel we have here. Drive side, you've got some vents for the driver side. So yeah. That, that fan unit needs to swap around because it sits in front of of the passenger. So a lot a lot involved. More, more a than lot. you'd expect. More than you'd expect, yes. So this is a re-welded section of the dash or is this a it's a it's a new section of the dash. So okay. this part here we actually get the parts from the uh, from the supplier itself. Wow. So okay. we don't re weld up the cross car beam, it's done yeah. by an OE, an OE supplier. Okay. New lines here. Is that all air conditioning lines? Air conditioning lines, yeah. And okay. with the swapping of the um, hate spec unit left yeah. to right, the pickup points are different in the engine bay. So we yes. also have to do new new lines for the uh, air conditioning. We have all these funny trolleys sitting behind us. So obviously, they're the parts from each motor vehicle that goes back onto the same motor vehicle. Correct. Yeah. So when we remove, whether it be the cabin side or the chassis side, we have trolleys that follow each to ensure that the grill, right, the grill, the airbags, all of those type of items, they come off the vehicle. We redo the remanufacture activity, and then they get placed on the vehicle. So throughout the yeah. factory, we have these little following trolleys that go behind the vehicles along the way. So your grill's not going to end up in WA or something, is it? No, Correct. On a different motor vehicle, so we're happy with that. Yep, lands back on the vehicle to come off. Yeah, cool. So we've gone all the way around the outside, but we haven't actually stopped in the middle. And there's a lot going on in the middle. What is happening in here? So in the middle is what we call our sub-assembly area. We touched earlier on the instrument panel, which we build. This area here also has the seats, which we modify. So we take some of the electrical connections and swap them left to right to make sure that operation works correctly. Also with the doors. So the uh, window switches need to change from left to right. Uh, so that happens in this area as well. Very cool. Walking along, we can see here we've got dashes, we've got everything sitting here, all the components. So this at the end of our uh, factory here, we've got the, the warehouse. So that's where the new parts come in. So whether it be the, the cross car beams we've got here, we've got the plenums, and then inside all the plastic parts that's in the warehouse. Wow, we go shopping then? Why not? <laughs> What's this all about? So remarriage. Now the cabin's complete, the chassis is complete. We put the two back together. So this is our remar remarriage station behind us. So it's when the cabin gets bolted back on, all the connections happen, uh, and we're almost done now. So we put Starts the looking like a truck. Exactly. We put the fluids in, we program it, wheel alignment, and it's off to the customer. So one of the final steps in the process is wheel alignment, because we remove and remanufacture the steering systems on both the heavy duty and the light duty. Um, we, when we put it back together, we do a real line before it hits out the door. Well, here we go, talking about shopping before. Look at this one, heavy duty black, ready to go. Wow.
there you go. There is the process. How amazing is it? Are you blown away? My mind has been blown. I knew that there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of new parts that went into yeah. the remanufacturing process, but to actually see it completely pulled apart, the cab comes off, everything is stripped out, mind blown. Like it's all, yeah. everything's pulled to pieces. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's mind blowing guys, it really is. So. The whole myth about these things being converted and being done dodgy, it this does just does not happen with GMSV. The, the remanufacture is mind-blowing. You will never know if you're looking at the motor vehicle that it, it's gone through this process, I don't think. Yeah. Anyway. I think we've rambled on enough, and I think what we should do now is jump on a plane because, funnily enough, while we've been <laughs> down here in Melbourne going through the factory where you see the process, yeah. our truck actually went through the process last week got on a truck, went to Brisbane and is there waiting for us. So we are going to yep. fly back to Brisbane and then take you through the completed finished product. 100%. We love Melbourne, but your weather, we're over We've it, been guys. Driving <laughs> crazy. Flooding and Flood. rain and freezing with jackets on. So yeah. anyway, Bryn, we're coming for you, buddy. We're coming to pick up our truck. So get ready for us. packed four days in Melbourne. We are now back in Queensland on one of the most important car rides of the year. We are off to Llewellyn Motors at Ipswich and we are picking up our new truck. It's new truck day. New truck day. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Okay, we've situated ourselves in Brisbane for one reason and one reason only. It's our new truck. It's here. It's behind these it's doors right there. right there. New car day. Welcome, guys. Welcome. Come and have a look at this. Oh, what have we got here? Congratulations on your new Silverado HD 2500. Live big and make way. Do the dance. <laughs> Whoa, 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 Slow down a little bit. Slow down, slow down. Why? We've got Bryn outside here who's going to explain everything about the truck. He actually does know a lot about this truck. No more guesswork, all right? All right, you know what? I will take the camera from you. And look, I step down, not jumping. And you can have a chat to Bryn. Sure. Sure. How are you, Bryn? Good yourself. Good, buddy. So this is Bryn. He's the... Sales manager. Sales manager. Yes, that's what he is. Sales manager of Llewellyn Motors. Mate, give these guys at home a rundown on these trucks because they are spectacular. Yes, this is your 2500 HD LTZ Premium. This is the new truck in GMSV's range. They live big, make way vehicle. Fitted with your 6.6 .6 V8 Duramax turbo diesel. Uh, 1234 newton meters of torque, so no trailer is too big for these things. Um, obviously you've got your 20 inch rims. These do come in a truck spec or a car spec for you as well. So depending on what you're going to be using it for, towing, hauling, stuff like that, you get options to make sure that uh, in any way it's going to be suited to you. 10-speed Allison transmission. 10-speed is a brand new thing for these trucks. Which is just awesome. Yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. So yeah. It even uh, helps the towing even, even more. You've got towing mode set up that actually changes the tuning and also the, uh, the transmission to assist when you're hauling as well. Yes. So GM have thought absolutely everything when it comes to hauling with these vehicles. Uh, safety wise, no, nothing short safety wise. So blind spot monitoring, lane departure warning, forward collision alert, heads up display, it's all filled in there for you. So you're not gonna feel scared driving something this big um, because yeah, it does take a little bit of getting used to it. Once you're used to it, it's absolute beast on the road. Yeah. Mary, you drive it, don't you? I do. And you love it? I love it. <laughs> yes. Good okay, GVMs. GVMs, yes. This, so, is, this is a good one that you guys need to know about. So this. coming from the car, so the two specs, car specs, a four and a half ton GVM, um, limited for, for licensing. So if you don't want to go into your truck license, just want to keep it as a car, stuff like that, G, GMSV have an option of a four and a half ton GVM. Um, if anyone wants to push to the extreme, what these guys are doing, <laughs> um, you can get them registered as an NV2 truck spec. So there's a truck license. Um, but the GVM goes to 5148. Yeah. 
which is enormous for these trucks. It so gives you another nearly odd 700 kilo payload in correct. the back. Yeah, which is extra 700 kilo payload in the yeah. back just to make it easy. So you don't have to do all those calculations at home and worry about if the extra beers or anything yeah. go on the fridge. <laughs> they can fit. <laughs> um, GCM wise, yes, huge. It's nearly 12 and a half ton, I think. Yeah, so it? you can push them up to 12 and a half ton on these things. So once again, mammoth. Absolutely enormous. You can't um, reach the GCM on it. No, pretty much. It's just, it's incredible. Yes. All right, what yes. else do we need to know? Um, as this truck sits, it's how they come standard. So, yep. factory fitted towing mirrors that do extend out even further. Um, an absolutely awesome Oh, option. that's push button too. Push button. You don't have to get out anymore. You just yes. push and the mirrors just pop out. Exactly right. Yeah. So, hook your trailer up. You don't have to worry about getting aftermarket mirrors. You can drive this thing straight up the showroom floor and start towing your four and a half ton rigs as well. So cool. So, I'd step to standard so everyone and the kids can actually get into the car. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is a big truck. They do. We're going to make it bigger. You, you are know making that. it bigger. So, you might need some <laughs> extra steps. But they do come back to fit it with the steps as well. Uh, yeah. A few options with those as well. But these ones are the genuine ones that come with it as well. Yeah. Uh, um, cameras, cameras, fifteen unique camera views in this truck. Yes, unbelievable, isn't it? It's yeah. a big truck. Yeah, it does take a bit hard to get parking. Yeah. Trust me, it is. It takes a while to learn the. <laughs> they're park. long. They're long. Uh, but the fifteen cameras makes it absolutely the most simplest thing to park. Yeah. Um, forward facing, three sixty degrees, degrees over the top. Yeah, over the top bird's eye views. When you're towing, I noticed that I was towing our van the other day. When you put your indicator on with the van on, it obviously knows that, yep. and it lights up on the screen all down the side that you're indicating. Yes. So, so you've if got, you hit something, there'd be seriously something it's wrong. There's something wrong, exactly. <laughs> you've got, obviously got your blind spot for your car, but nothing for yep. your trailer. So that extra camera angle makes it really good if you're changing lanes, pretty yep. much as a blind spot camera for your trailer. So obviously, yeah, real easy when you're actually moving between lanes to make sure, yeah, I'm safe. Sensational, is it? Um, trailer um, capabilities as well. You've got yes. all types of settings in there. I don't know enough about it. No. You may know a bit more than I me. do a little bit. So okay. GM have uh, got a factory fitted uh, trailer towing app built into the yeah. system. So if you've got multiple trailers, work trailers, caravan, boat, you can set all different trailers up into the system. When you plug it in, you click what trailer it is, it comes up with your custom check sheet. To make, <laughs> so if you can make sure that you're not forgetting to do everything like that. Um, and on check sheet, you can pick and choose what you want on your check sheet. Yeah. Does a wiring check to make sure that all the wires are working, all the lights, trailer, working, all the lights yeah. are working. So yeah. instead of having to look at the back and do the waving test to make sure your lights are working, <laughs> the truck does it for you. It also records the Ks that the trailer does behind the truck. So yeah. as long as you're picking the right trailer, it'll record the Ks, remind you to do bearings on your trailer, all the things that we can quite easily forget for our trailer. Obviously we want to keep our truck serviced up to date, yeah. we also got to keep our trailer up to date. Yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah. So, and it's things that you forget. You're yeah, trying exactly. to calculate how many trips you've done, where you've been, and trying to work out the case. Exactly. So it does it for you. It does it so all for you. It's even got a theft mode, so if you stay staying overnight, you can set theft mode up and um, you can be safe where you're sleeping and yeah. you know, you, all your goods aren't going to be taken. Yep, yep. They've got ballet mode, all that Ballet stuff, mode, right? everything's built in. Learner driver mode, so my son at home, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, yeah. Um, a lot of features. Even more accessibility. You've got a step on the side of the truck, yep. get into the front of the truck. It's an awesome step because it is so big again to get into the front. I can't reach in the back because I'm a little shorty. Yeah. Um, someone knows something about that. So <laughs> the step makes that really, really easy. Steps on the side there. Steps on the side as well. So you've got screen on the back, hang on the back. And the awesome thing is you even get an electric tailgate. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look and down at that. as well. So yeah. down and also all cool. the way up as well. Down and if down. you guys haven't seen these trucks at all, have a look at the size of the exhaust in these things. Look at this. Bad, hey. <laughs> Righty oh, oh. Fully equipped with towing package as well. So yep. brake controller, tow bar, wiring kit, all standard. All standard trucks. in these things. So yep. yeah, so benefit GM, people on GM understand these trucks are for towing. They have done everything possible to set it up. Yep. Once again, you can drive out of the showroom and tow absolutely anything that's straight. Designed and built to haul. Exactly. This is what these are, and in serious comfort too. Unbelievable comfort. Super comfortable. You've got inside, so we've got all the heated. And cooling so seats, got heated steering wheel. Yep, exactly yep. right. So your heated, cooled seats. Yep. Um, the heads-up display as well. There's a yep. sunroof in there, so you can get up and wave your arms. And you can get a tan, darling. Nice little tan while you're <laughs> driving along. Um, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android yep. Auto, uh, and you've even got wireless phone charging as well. So and the sound system. The Whoa. sound system. You cannot beat the sound system. Bose so, sound system. The yes. subwoofer and everything. Yep, out the the subwoofer, console. Bose sound system. Yep. So Bose done an awesome job in helping GM. With an awesome Sensational. Sound Oh, sorry, I'm just getting a little bit ahead of time in here. Yes. Right. How is the leather in here? Full leather seats, front, rear. Both front seats are fully electric as well, so yeah. you have full customization. 
for your seat so you can make sure you're as comfortable as possible. Yeah. Um, large touch screen here with everything on it. Huge screen. Hang on a second, I'm gonna jump in the back and uh, we'll see if we can get a bit of a better view here. Oh, nice big spacious back seat here. Oh, look at the size of that uh, seat. Are you back comfy in the uh, back? Get your feet off. <laughs> <laughs> it's new. <laughs> um, right. Large, yeah, like we said, large screen in here. Here's all your heat and cooling seat options. Trailer braking. Even your exhaust brake as well. So Obviously, even equipped with an exhaust brake. We didn't brake. even talk about exhaust braking. That. that is yes. an absolutely huge part. And we used to stress about going down ranges in the older cars. Yeah. Never have to worry about it again. No. At some sometimes we even have to put their foot on an accelerator. Yeah. And that's in tow haul mode with the exhaust braking on. So guys, another huge reason why you've got to get into these HD trucks. They're designed for towing. Um, you've also got the rear view mirror camera. Yep, it's an actual camera, which is really cool. So we can do like that, do the whole lot, and you never have to comp you know how you're always adjusting your mirror? You don't have to do that with this thing. You flick it up, no, it turns it, into a camera. It's a camera. But if you still want to make sure you're looking good for a photo, you can flick it down you to can a mirror. It down, but, it has, but it has a mirror here too, mate. You've still got your mirrors as well. So, so. we can see how good we look. Yes. Uh, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> uh, yeah, like we said, sunroof. The space. Mammoth. The sunroof. The space in here is absolutely huge. There you go. Uh, here you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at the size of this. You could probably put a whole carton in here. I yep. could almost fit it's in there. It's huge. I sleep in that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got an organizer too, which is an option you can get in them. Uh, cup holders. We have wireless charging of your phone. The benefit of column shift. Everything but, is out the way. You know, people talk about column shift that they're bad. They are so oh, good. They are awesome. Unbelievable feature. They're Completely awesome. out the way. You don't have to worry yeah, about it. You can that, throw that's keys. Right. You, you, you don't have to be going like this. You're literally holding the steering wheel, and as you're turning, you can flick it or do what you want with it. It's, it's, it's really good. Unbelievable. What do you think? I hey, like... How are you in the back there? How's the space? Look at the space. Oh. <laughs> can you get all me in? No, you need a wide angle lens, my friend. We do. We do. We do. <laughs> In seat storage, so in both seats oh. you can actually open the, those seats up. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Do. open that. Yeah. Pull that. You've got in seat storage. There you so go. That's, Look at that. That's a sneaky compartment in there. Yeah. And then you've got your center console as well. Yeah, that, so you obviously can have that one holders. comes yep. down too. Yeah, we've got the we got the window that opens up in the back there. I can't do that. That's a you thing. No, nope. that's, that's so a that, button. Uh, probably need the keys in it, so we don't have the keys. And this these seats come up too, and there's all under seat storage. Okay, let's jump in the back seat here. There you go. Look at the size of it. And then we have the story. Well. We've got a genuine third option here, which is your underseat storage. So there's an option that GM offer to uh, put some storage boxes on oh, here. Yeah, they've got lids. Here you go. Do you want to lie down in here and show them actually how big it is? Sure. Uh. Look at that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So much room for activities. <laughs> Look what I just discovered. Ready? Are you ready? Yep. Oh. That's... There's a button. What's that for? It's so that when your brother or sister is sitting here, you can come and up. They and they annoy you, you, you whack them in the head. and whack them on the head. That's what that's for. All right, get out of there. Go on, you're dirtying it. It's quite comfortable in here, actually. Okay. Look, I even took my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously, after seeing this video, we know you want to test drive one of these trucks. And it just so happens that here at Llewellyn Motors, there's always one that you can test drive. Is that right? Always one on site. So we always make sure we've got 2500s and 1500s on site, even a little Corvette as well. Um, but obviously, if you can't make it down to Llewellyn Motors here, there is six dealers around Australia that do the same thing. How many dealers? 60 dealers around 60. Australia. 60 of us around Australia selling these awesome beasts. So uh, pop into your local dealer, have a test drive, and uh, we'll see you on the road. There's only one more thing to do now, is there? What's that, turn it on and drive away? Start it up and drive it out of here. Hey. That's it, I'll get the keys, let's go. <laughs>